I think a lot of our veterans, and including myself, you know, we've been through a lot of things, and it's, and it's this is a project here that is extremely relieving and healing for us. I feel just creating art in general uh, is a good form of therapy. Uh, most participants aren't out looking for therapy; they're not going to reach out for it. But unbeknownst to them, the process of creating art makes you uh, focus on something different than your daily troubles and um, actually benefits you in that form. Vet Art offers foundry process, foundry classes to veterans, active duty, spouses, and caregivers, uh, totally free of charge. So we have participants come in and we will walk them through the whole process of the foundry involving uh, life casting where they pull a wax pattern. It's a form of meditation, I believe. Um, it, it just helps you focus on other things. Like when I'm doing classes with my active duty guys, I'll have six participants in a, in a classroom and they'll all be working on their, their project and no one is saying a word for three or four hours. And they basically won't say a word to each other. They're focusing on the task at hand. And next thing you know, three hours go by and like, wow, where'd the time go? I have um, I've been diagnosed with PTSD and have found in the past three years working with the Vet Art program, uh, while not a total subsidence, a, a large subsidence of intrusive imagery, flashbacks, and some of the other symptomologies. I found almost right away that that the uh, soft red wax kind of catches all my creative attention, settles my mind, becomes a meditative process in itself. There's attention to detail that, that keeps my mind focused on what I'm doing right there without allowing my mind freedom to uh, enjoy other thoughts or not enjoy other thoughts. I think uh, it's just stress release to come out here and uh and put something together. It's a very difficult project, but uh, it is time consuming, but uh, it's very relieving. Due to the loss of my son after 37 years, uh, I kind of got traumatic shock and PTSD, which I already had, and as I attended and got cast my face with bronze and started working on it, it was an immediate relief, more so than um, the medicine that I was taking. It gives me challenge, I guess. It allows me to, to use my mind and visualize things in three dimensions and take them apart. Pills and stuff give you endorphins, and that's they alter your state of mind. I'm doing this with art and it's without drugs. And with drugs, you get your endorphins and what have you to, but you can't help others. But now with this, I get better and faster results and they're tangible. I just completed a sculpture of myself and, uh, and my next project's gonna be a, a bell to commemorate my retirement two years ago. In addition, it's given me opportunities to come in contact with and work with in relatively close quarters other veterans. We come here, we understand one another. Uh, the environment's very uh, conducive to our uh, satisfaction. Uh, we, you know, we chat with one another, learn about one another and realize our similarities and we work together and, and working on our projects while we're, we're feeling better about ourselves. The one thing that, that people don't realize, when you're in the military, you know, it's a process to get out. So three, four months, it's, you're, you're doing all this paperwork to make sure you know, your medical's there and this is there and that, and you know, turning your uniforms and all that. And then one day you're out, you're just out. It, it, there's no grace period. So you're a, a Marine one day or an Army soldier one day, and the next day you're civilian. So there's no transference out of that. This program allows veterans and participants along that line to come here so it's like neutral territory. So they can come in and meet other like-minded people, have something in common, teamwork. Uh, you know, once, once you're in the military and you're a veteran, everybody's your buddy if you're a veteran. It's just how it is. And that's what this place is like. It's, it's basically our house for our family. I hated the world and uh, I had it all in my hand. I could care less before. But now it's the other way around. I go out of my way to kind of help people. It just kind of 
took the chip off my shoulders to a point where I'm more caring, more calm and relaxed and and that's what Bet Art did to me because it's like the opposite of what I was all my life, but it's like the new me, but I'm adjusted to it now and I and now I see the benefit and maybe this is it, this is what I really am underneath and maybe that's what I was all along, I didn't know. It uh, could very well have saved my life. It soothes the soul to make art and you're creating it and now you can, you, you can only thank yourself for doing it.